it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly how-to video tutorials right here on YouTube and in this video I'm teaching you how to make a protective pouch or sleeve for your iPad or tablet. Okay, so let's get started. This is the tablet sleeve we'll be making. I made this one for my husband using some faux leather and an animal print interior there. This is his work iPad. It fits in there by itself. He also likes to carry it around in another protective case that he also uses as a stand. So you can see I made it so that it fits it with or without this other case around it. So this is going to have a little playroom and this is going to fit any of the iPads or any other 10 inch tablets, okay? So let's go over some of the fabrics that we'll be using and that I recommend for a project like this. I think these would work great. This is a faux leather. And then the animal print inside here is for faux suede. I got from fabricmartfabrics.com. And here are a few other prints. They have like a polyester backing and then the top part is smooth and soft like a faux suede, obviously. I'll include a link in the description box below and it will link you to the pages on where all these fabrics are so you can check them out and see if you want to get any to create your own tablet sleeves. This is a black on black animal print. I really like this one. And then let's see what other colors. This is the faux leather for the one that I showed you previously that I made for my husband. It has a really soft hand and I love the crinkle look. This has a nice shimmer to it and it has a softer backing. It's probably one of the more lightweight ones. It's really like soft feeling. This is a brown and black animal print. And any of these I think can be totally used to make unisex tablet sleeves. So let's go into the interior. This soft foamy stuff is called Inner Form Plus. You can see I scrunch it, it pops right back out. So it's definitely going to keep its shape over time. I would recommend using this over batting. This is made by Bozal Foam and Fiber. It's all made in the US and I'll include a link below in the description box on where you can find this stuff. So let's start off by cutting out our Inner Form Plus to size. So once you have that cut to size, you also want to go ahead and cut out your two pieces of fabric the exact same dimensions, right? One for the outer fabric and the other one is going to be for the inside of the sleeve or your lining. So because the Interform Plus we're using is a double-sided fusible, we are going to fuse our fabrics onto each side of it. Now because this is faux suede and it's synthetic, you don't want to hit it with a hot iron directly onto the fabric. Instead, I just put a plain piece of cotton fabric over top and then just put a warm to pretty hot iron right over it until I feel that it's been fused into place. Flip it over and we're going to do the same thing on the back side with the other fabric. Now once that's done, let's put our tablet in here so we can measure a few things. We're going to go this way and say this is how I want it to fold up. So we find that interior edge and that's the first one that we're going to bind. So see when I folded this up, this is the interior edge. We're going to bind that one first. And to do that, it's super easy. I'm cutting out one inch wide strip of the faux leather. And I'm using the faux leather because it doesn't fray. So I don't have to create any like double folded bias binding, any kind of crazy quilt binding, nothing. Just the one inch strip, sandwich it there, and I'm using my favorite wonder clips to clip it all into place. Now I'm going to use a zigzag stitch and stitch all the way down, okay? Remove your pins or clips as you go. I like to use these clips when I'm working with bulky fabrics like a project like this or somewhere where you don't want a pin. And I'll also include a link in the description box below on where you can find these little clips. So we trim off our edges and any threads and then we fold it up and now we need to do the same thing to the top part or the flap, right? I want you to round off the edges. It's going to be easier just to bind it that way. And so what I do is I just freehand cut it, but you can use a little saucer or a CD or something to use as your template. Here's what I do. I wing the first one and then I take that negative piece and flip it over and then use that as my guide or template to cut the other one so they come out pretty close to being symmetrical, okay? This looks fine. Now we need to cut a binding strip that measures all the way around the flat part. And to figure out exactly the length of that, let's put the tablet inside and mark with some type of marking device where the top edge of this pocket is right here on both sides. So right here. And so then my binding needs to be at least long enough to go from one mark all the way over to the next one, okay? And I can see already that this strip is going to be enough. So what I've done is I've taken the little marks that are on this side of the fabric on the lining part and transferred them over to the outer part because this is where I'm going to be working from or stitching from, right? So right there, that's the line. I've lined it up. I'm putting my strip so that it's at least half an inch further down from that line use my clips and make my way all around the curved edges and zigzag stitch it all down into place. Once that's done, we'll put the tablet right back in, see how it's looking, and now we're ready to attach our closure. So I just have some Velcro here, hook and loop tape. This is touch tape that I'm using. You can use whatever brand you want. 
to make things a little bit neater I'm just gonna make some marks for myself so I can try and line it up straight and I always zigzag stitch my velcro into place I find it just to be more secure for all the opening and closing and now we're almost done we're gonna flip it so that the outer fabric is facing up and then fold this flat part back so now we should be looking at our lining fabric okay then you want to just clip all the sides together we're gonna use about a quarter inch seam and just stitch Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and at the ends, okay, to secure that in place. Repeat that on the other side as well. And then what I like to do is actually go back and to secure those raw edges of that seam there, you can use your serger. But on my sewing machine, I'm just going to select a wide zigzag stitch. You can see the opposite seam has already been done. And we're just going to zigzag stitch that down to secure all those inside edges, okay? Once we're done with that, just trim off your threads. Now we're ready to flip our tablet sleeve inside out. If you have an iron handy, make sure you put a pressing cloth over this faux suede fabric. Give it a press. Put your tablet in there and see how it looks. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make a custom tablet sleeve for your iPad or other 10 inch tablet. This is a super easy project to make, great for beginners, and also a great gift for you to make just in time for the holidays for even the guys in your life. I know as crafters and DIYers, we always have a tough time trying to figure out what we can make for the men in our life. So something that protects their electronics, I think is gonna be very well received. For the fabrics, remember I got them from fabricmartfabrics.com. I'll include a link in the description box below where I'll link you right to their full suede page so you can check them out and see the different prints that they have that you can use for a project like this. For guys, you can do one like I did here for my husband. Just use some darker prints. This is their faux leather that I got from Fabric Mart. And I use the black on black animal print faux suede on the inside. Just some darker, more masculine uh, fabrics would work great for this type of project. Now, if you're noticing, this one is a little bit different than the one that I taught you how to make in this tutorial. And that's because this is the tablet sleeve I'm teaching you how to make in my new online class. Now, I'll link you right here in this annotation. You can click it. That'll take you to the trailer video where I tell you all about that online class class, what you'll learn in it, what you get in it. But just to give you an idea, this is the tablet sleeve that you'll make in that class. And this is me teaching you how to make a quilt as you go tablet sleeve. So you can see, this is a really cute one. This is mine, obviously. But you can see it's lined, everything, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, hit it with that thumbs up below. Don't forget to share this video across the different social media sites. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.